Hi, welcome to a RoboFlow training movie. In this training movie, uh, I'm going to explain how to work with watch folders. Uh, in particular, how to work with uh, several watch folders at the same time, uh, which can uh, help you um, combine several watched areas uh, into one catalog. Let's start uh, with explaining uh, the problem. Um, so if I have a watch folder, I create a new watch folder and I call it watch one. And it's synchronize files and folders with a catalog. And my interval is here minus two. In a normal situation, you will probably run this every minute or every hour or every day. And so in this example, I'm just going to do it on demand. I have prepared a watch folder. And I have prepared a catalog, <coughs> which is the, sam uh, the watch folder catalog. Okay, and we're going to specify an asset handling set which is used for cataloging or updating the records. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, file filter at this point it is defined not to catalog certain files, so it will catalog everything else uh, there is no folder filter <clears throat> at this moment defined and at this point i define no starting point for my category tree which means that it is uh, not going to create a roboflow category tree we will get to all that later so i say start it looks at the folder it uh, finds the files that it is allowed to find and it is uh, going to catalog them so you can see that the files here are coming in and i named the files uh, so that you know where they are from so first of all what we are seeing here is i have a file that is in the root i have files in folder one folder two folder three and folder four okay now <clears throat> Um, if we have a look at the catalog, oh, sorry, catalog, uh, you can see that the normal cumulus uh, asset handling set functionality has created uh, this category three. And standard functionality now of RoboFlow is uh, that uh, I can say, for instance, here in folder four, this is no longer called folder four, but this is now called folder five. And if I run the workflow, which is finished by now, of course, and start, it is going to notice that and it is going to update. Now, if we look at these things, it's going to say show location that it is in folder five. So that's perfect. But what you can notice here that although there are no more files in folder 4, that this still exists. Why? Because Cumulus automatically doesn't clean up those uh, folders. RoboFlow can do that if you give RoboFlow uh, uh, the task to maintain the categories. So what I usually do is I disable this automatic generation of categories in the catalog because they are after a while if uh, people are moving files around uh, creating and removing catalogs it doesn't get cleaned up so I want this to be cleaned up so I am going to go to my categories field here and I'm going to say hey I don't want this automatically created this is disabling it 
for all you could also very specifically if you still want other category functionalities created you could very specifically say okay whenever we're talking about uh, the um, mac os or windows file system asset store or the unix file system store i could just disable those and if i deactivate uh, those and i think since I'm, there is now also a file system uh, so if you disable those then it will not create that category tree and thus uh, it's up to roboflow then to create it so this is my step one i delete those categories Oh, sorry. I delete those categories and I delete also uh, the records, only the records, and we'll go to RoboFlow. And then in the watch folder, I can say now, well, I want my <clears throat> um, folders to be managed by RoboFlow my categories I can say okay I want to skip one to three levels uh, my starting point is that and if I look here I have here dollar categories I can put it to dollar sources I can type in a value as well it doesn't matter I'm gonna put it in dollar sources and here I am managing the fact that it can delete empty folder uh, categories uh, so that's what we put in now um, additionally as an example I will add here the fact that for instance you can say I want to filter out I don't want uh, certain folders so I can say I don't want folder 4 uh, you <clears throat> you can actually not put these but historically uh, people understand it that uh, folders are separated by uh, a hash sign if so if you specify multiple you do need to uh, put that hash file so what i say i'm saying here is i don't want folder 4 <clears throat> so if i now start the workflow <clears throat> and I do show log it is it has cataloged eight files and of course I called it folder 4 but folder 4 doesn't exist anymore and so uh, it is now actually uh, folder 5 so it did catalog those files that were in folder 4 folder 5 so little maybe uh, confusing thing uh, now if I'm going to update this it is if I'm going to run this start although the files are in folder 4 and folder 4 is eliminated from processing it will still keep uh, uh, it will um, keep them if they're in folder 5 but if they're in folder 4 well you can see that the files uh, have been uh, deleted here we now have folder 1 folder 2 folder 3 mm -hmm. so this is in folder 1 this is in folder 2 and this is in folder 3 and in the root there is this guy I said that it, the starting point of the categories had to be on uh, part number three of your path so it has created this watch folder you can also decide not to have this and only have these as starting points also notice that it is cataloging the file from the root hmm. so let's delete this again and let's delete those let's come a little bit closer to our uh, end target actually what we wanted to say is i have a bunch of files and a bunch of things in this watch folder but i'm only interested in whatever is in for instance one two and three 
I don't want the rest. Okay. So what uh, we do in that case is um, I uh, it cannot catalog this, it cannot catalog that. Uh, so what we can do is uh, we can here uh, uh, <clears throat> determine that we want, for instance, uh, this uh, filter to be folder one hash folder two hash folder three now sorry to say so but it has to be exclamation mark if i put exclamation mark in front of it it inverts it says i only want to catalog whatever is in folder one folder two folder three these are folder filters that means it will catalog any file inside folder one folder two or folder three but it will not catalog anything which is in a subfolder of folder one two and three because that's only if it's called one two or three to be able to obtain that behavior you have to put a question mark here the question mark tells roboflow that this exclamation mark only counts for the first level for the root and then we know okay folder one folder two folder three so it is important that um that these files are uh, actually um, uh, that these uh, filters are actually defined this way another thing I wanted to change is my starting point I want it to be level 4 I don't want that watch folder there I want whatever is after because that's uh, how I am going to uh, organize my documents so okay the catalog is empty start And I say show log. Okay. So I find six files. Uh, if I have a look, you can see that here in the catalog, I have uh, six records. So this, 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 and this. You see that with this simple folder filter, you cannot filter out the root files from being cataloged. If you don't want the root files from being cataloged, then you have to make sure that you um, specify the root inside those folders. We will do that in a moment. Here, uh, we can see that it has cataloged PNG in the root png in folder one png in folder two in full uh, sorry folder one pn here tiff in folder two and png in folder two and a gif in folder three mm -hmm. i actually am going to um, make another copy of a file to make my so i'm going to say folder three so this is, and I'm going to call it not GIF. You will understand in a moment. I can determine that if I run this workflow again, it's just going to add that, that one file, start. Now we are coming to a point where we're coming to the limits of the watch folder and you can determine in the watch folder here what folders you want to process and you can determine what um, this processing needs to be uh, you, you can determine what files uh, it should not process or what it should process if in this case we are saying look I only want to catalog um, JPEG and I only want to catalog PNG and I only want to catalog GIF files, then that will match everything we have now. But if you want to fine tune and say, okay, in folder one, I only want to do the JPEG and in folder two, I only want to do the PNG and in folder three, I only want to do the GIF files, then 
we have a problem because that is not possible in one workflow. In this uh, workflow, we um, cannot have a different folder filter for a different folder. In that case, we need an additional uh, category. And so I you see that this folder tree not gif uh, that's what it has cataloged now if I want these same folders to be uh, available with separate different formats then I need to do a, a separate workflow or if the root folders that you're trying to combine are not in the same root. So if folder one is maybe in here and folder two is in a different location and folder three is in a different location, then that too is another reason why you need to split this up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, create or add a new field. And this field is called, or parameter is a better word, is called hot query. We need to tell RoboFlow that it needs to um, only process in this workflow the, uh, the records that are bound to a folder. What we're going to do is we have three folders. We're going to create three workflows. So we don't want each workflow to verify the records of each other. Each of them, you want them only to work on their records. So the way we can do this is by specifying that the categories need to be assigned to and need to be assigned to, uh, and in this case, it's dollar sources, colon, folder one that way this workflow will only look at the records that are in this folder in this category and then we will also match this with folder one and what is important is in this case that of course we no longer have the folder filter it's not necessary and then we have the ability to say okay but look in this particular uh, folder i only want png nothing else or other formats you can combine you can put a list as long as you like but eh, this is the example so now i have this particular workflow who is only going to monitor files in folder one and it's only going to uh, process records in f the category dollar sources uh, folder one so what is important is uh, that so if I now launch the workflow you will uh, see it in a moment show log what happens is it says, okay, the watch folder where it was looking is two. It was looking at two uh, files. It found those two files and it found two records to process. Not the six that are or the seven that are in the catalog. No, only those two that are assigned to that category. That way, each can work in their own environment. So if I change, if I add a file to folder three and I'm running the workflow, it is of course not going to see that file at all. So it's not going to verify it at all. It's not going to add it. And so we're still having seven records here, the same seven, and there's nothing added to the folder three uh, example. There's not three, but only two, although there's three files. So now we're going to duplicate 
this workflow and we're going to call it two and in watch folder two you can now say okay i want folder two to be watched and no folder filter required but there is a requirement of uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> of this folder two it is also important to keep your starting point on four one two three four because you need you want this route to be present and eh? so in your catalog and eh? so if this is uh, your uh, product builder then this should be called product builder your subfolder and your category will automatically also be product builder eh? so that's how you can force uh, force that if for some reason you need to have a different category name than the actual name of the folder imagine this is called a called folder two but you don't want it to be called folder two here um, <clears throat> what you should do is you can say i take one level further here so i don't take folder two and in the cat in the sources i add whatever i want it to be so i call this e-commerce so although on disk it is called um, folder two uh, on in cumulus it will be e-commerce and then of course your query needs to be also here e-commerce uh, dollar sources call it colon e-commerce and so that is also a possibility uh, but if the folder name is okay if you want to use the folder name then you can leave it just like that uh, this is fine this is going to work perfectly and um, <clears throat> this is how it's going to update the catalog and in this case i'm going to say folder 2 well in folder 2 i actually only want the tiff files i'm not interested in anything else and then we have folder 2 and now i can uh, duplicate again and i can do the same for folder 3. so this way i have three different watch folders that all watch different folders and have a different behavior <clears throat> uh, behavior in what kind of files uh, they're using so here you can say okay i want to use uh, only gif files or i want to get only uh, gif files from this folder as I said, it can be a list of, of whatever you could say. I want GIF and JPEG in this guy. And so that's possible too. And here at the bottom, then you can add the three, folder three. And then this is actually the bulk. And this is the result of our, of what we converted from one uh, to three workflows if you want to see this running well we can oh and then again i'm going here uh, we can just uh, go to the catalog delete everything and here too delete everything and then you can say i want to start this workflow start this workflow and start that workflow <clears throat> and you can see that it has added four files from folder one it has added two pngs from to the folder two it has added a tiff because there was also png but it, it refuse to that file and from folder three it has added uh, the gif file uh, there was also a png or even two of them but again it it ignored them 
and now whatever you do with these type of files and these type of workflows and these type of folders <clears throat> it is perfectly going to uh, be able to match that uh, to uh, each of the different workflows and as I said you can run these workflows on a time interval um, of for instance uh, well depends how fast you want this uh, updated um, I would not set it lower than one minute um, and yeah it uh, a watch folder is also not meant to watch uh, thousands or hundreds of thousands of files uh, it's it's uh, a watch folder is to watch an area where files are changing and uh, where they need to be watched where they're not an archive where they're not dead and uh, where they're not finished uh, if you need that you can you should use a hot folder if files are put somewhere and not changed then uh, you should use a hot folder which uh, can give you that uh, functionality okay so thank you for uh, joining this training movie and hope to see you in the next one